Okay, I'm making a tutorial on this uh, IK system I made too. This isn't a tutorial on how it works or anything, it's just a tutorial on how you can use it. So, right here I have it set up, IK script, the upper arm, the forearm, and the hand left. You see there's no target because um, that's uh, for, well, it, there's no target because um, that's programmed in script and that's what I'm going to explain how to do. So, new script. Example. Just edit this. Okay, first we need a uh, reference to the, first we need a reference to the show you what all these variables all these things do later but for right now that's um, for right now that's all I need to know. So the elbow target is this one. This one is just right here. I should probably have to move this. Let's go right. I oh, know that's a good position. Because the hand is right. Okay, now then I'll go right here. To the left. This left hand. So, oh yeah, now yeah, I never said this. So I have all those things set up now. I um, uh, I'll just now if you go I K dot elbow of a target. Position to target position. I K dot target location equals to target dot location. I K dot target target on my elbow position equals to elbow. Now then, I'm going to explain what all these variables do. That will just be setting the targets and stuff for the IK. It's pretty simple. So yeah, now, there. You can do a lot of things with this. If you go past the aisle book, kind of your job but okay now then uh you can let me explain all of these variables so they have up auto update if I disable that what that does is it basically doesn't update and so what I have to do to get it to update is IK dot calculate IK. This the reason for this is say you um say you're uh, calculating your um target positions in late update because you have to um because you have to um you're you're calculating your target positions in late update because they have they're like a bone or something like that and they can't be controlled in update. Then you're gonna want to um use uh you want to disable this to auto calculate and then make it so you have to choose when it calculates the reason for that is if you put if you don't do that then it might i mean it's not always guaranteed but it might do this calculate it and then then put the variables and that would be a frame late so if i go right here i can show you that this is going to be a frame late problem so if i grab this Yeah, you can see the hands kind of uh, lagging behind a little bit. 
Yeah, it's lagging behind, you see. But if I put it in front. this doesn't lag behind at all uh, now to go over here so that I would keep that on use just disables and enables it and debug just enables and disables the lines so uh, now these hand forward and hand right I could um, auto calculate those but I think it would be more accurate I mean it doesn't take you that much time to put these variables in. Just go right here. I could auto calculate it, but it would kind of waste, be a waste of time. Uh, not not for me, just that that it might also not work with every single rig. Is the problem. So what this does is the forward axis is this one. Like I mean, not the actual forward axis, just like what you would think of as the forward is this part, like this direction. And so I can go. And so I put that in for this variable, so right here. And forward is negative x axis. Oh, negative x. Okay. Negative. Um, I was actually putting x. That's an idiot. So, and that's forward. And then the um, right axis. If you think of right, you go like this. So the right axis is this way. And if it was on this one, it would be this way. So, um. So the right axis is this way, on the y axis, so you go negative y. Say if I don't put these things, the, the normal forward axis is this one, and the um, right axis is this one, so put that. Uh, run it. And the, th the reason it does that is right, right here, these are actually a correct IK transform, so the forward axis is Forward. These are kind of just mapping these transforms to these transform, and so you're defining which one of these axes will be the forward and which one of them will be the right axis, or the red one. And so, yeah. This also works on legs. So if I go over here, I'll right, left. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Okay, I'll grab this upper leg. reason is because the legs don't have the same transform so if I change that let's go right here actually let's do that so uh, local oh, okay so the forward axis is the negative x-axis see like for example these feet the reason I didn't auto calculate it is the feet before, if I the only way I could auto calculate it is based on the chains before it, and so um, the feet would have would the forward direction would be down, and but you actually want the feet forward direction to be this way, so that's why I made it not automatically calculated. So I think this forward direction. Let me go grab this. Let's put that. So the forward direction is negative x, and the right direction is um, uh, negative y. I think it's just flipped. Negative x. I keep literally putting negative x, not negative one. <laughs> and zero. And then this one was negative one. Should work now. Now, if you just move the target down, move the um elbow right here you can see that it does work um, like with legs just fine and yeah well that's it I'm gonna be putting this in the description if you want to download it